Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple scrolling texture using Unity's shader graph. For this video, I am using the universal render pipeline. To get the universal render pipeline in your project, uh, you can go up here to window, go to package manager, go to Unity registry, and you can scroll down until you see Universal RP, and you can click install. After that, you'll have to create your own uh, universal render pipeline assets. To do that, I am just going to go into here and create a new folder just to show you how to make those. I'm going to label the folder rendering and do to create your universal render pipeline assets, you can right click, go to create and rendering and choose URP asset with universal renderer. Then you'll want to go into your project settings, select graphics and drag your new universal render pipeline asset into the scriptable render pipeline settings. It might ask you uh, to continue here. You can just click continue. In my case, I'm gonna click cancel because I already have that set up. So I'm just gonna get rid of that for me, but you guys will need to do that. But I already have it set up over here in my sample scene. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna get rid of my examples there and I will create a new plane, and that's just gonna have the default material on it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to create a folder, and I am just gonna call this shaders. I'm gonna go into my shaders folder, right click, go to create, shader graph, URP. I usually choose the lit shader or the unlit shader graph. Uh, in this case, I'll just choose the lit one. And I will call this scrolling texture. And I will double click that to open up the shader graph editor window. And I'm gonna, you can double click on the tab to make it full screen. I'm just gonna zoom out and position myself here. The first thing I'm gonna want is a texture 2D. And I will just name this texture. I will drag that out and I will link it to a sample texture 2D node. And I will hook it up to our base color and I will save the asset. I will go over here and right click on our shader graph item, go to create and material, and that will just create a material based on our custom shader graph here. And as you can see, we have a texture field here, so we can select any artwork we want. I have this pre-made image of an arrow, so I'll just select that. I'll go back to our scene and just drag our arrow on there. And I'm just going to zero out the position of our plane just to keep it a little neater. All right, and now we want to get it scrolling. So I will go ahead and add in a time node. And I will also add a tiling and offset node. And in our shader graph fields, I will add a vector, I will add a vector two, and I am going to call this direction. I will just drag that out here. And I will multiply time with our direction. And I will feed that into our offset. 
And then from tiling and offset, I will feed that into our UV for our sample texture. And I will save our data graph asset. And our material will update along with that. So you can see now we have a direction. We go to our scene. You can see it's not moving, but if I were to put a one in the X direction, you can see it is now moving in the X direction. My image is backwards. So if I wanted it to move in the direction of the arrow, I could put like a negative one here. And what I'm doing to get this to animate in the scene view is I am holding down my middle mouse button while my mouse is in the scene view. So you can see it like that. And this also controls the speed. So if I wanted to do like a faster arrow, I put a negative five. So now it's scrolling even faster. And likewise, if you wanted it slower, you could do like negative 0.1 and that one might be a little too slow. Let's do that negative 0.1 there. Now you can see it's going even slower. But to make this a little more robust, I am going to add a float here and I'm gonna call this rotation. And with rotation selected, I am going to change the mode to slider and make the min zero and the max 360. So the rotation will be zero to 360 degrees. And I will feed this into a rotate node into the rotation field. And I will want to change the unit from radians to degrees. And I will feed this into the tiling and offset node here. And I will save the asset. Now it is moving to the left and I can rotate my texture here just fine. And it the movement is consistent with the rotation. Something else you can do to make this a little more user friendly is you can add a float here and I usually call it scale and I usually just connect that over to tiling. And if I save that, go back to our scene. Uh, actually, let's go back in here. And for scale, let's set a default value of one. Save our asset again. We can go back over to our scene. And with a scale of one, it looks normal. But you can see as we decrease the value for the scale, the image gets larger. We increase the value of the scale. The image is tiled and is smaller. Anyway, that is the very basics of getting a scrolling texture to work for you. If you would like to see any more of my videos, feel free to check out my channel. Please leave a comment down below of what you would like to see next. And until next time, thank you for watching.